tomato plant has been a little sick, but we have gotten some red tomatoes off of there and they're feeling ripe. So we're gonna pull them off. We see some that are still ripening. We're not sure how good these tomatoes are going to be, but we're gonna try it out. When we look in our aromas, I see, oh, over there, do you see that little bit of red? We have another one. Our okra's gotten very tall. Our squash plant is humongous. Look how big that is. And when we look inside, there's a lot of squash in there. Our beans look like they're almost done, but there's lots of beans still to harvest. The corn is not quite yet ready to harvest, but we do have some big bell peppers that we may pull before they get orange so that they don't get damaged by the sun. There's a little update from our plot at the garden, 39B. Hello again, and we've just come from the garden to our house, and now we're in the kitchen, and I wanted to show you some of the things we harvested. These are all the okra we harvested. These one, two, three, four, five tomatoes are from our beefsteak plant. And the plant didn't look too healthy, so we are wondering what these will look like and taste like. This other one over here is from a gardener at another plot, and they offered us some tomatoes from their plants because they had so many, which was very kind of them. We also wanna cut into this one and see what's the same and what's different with the neighbor tomato and our tomatoes. Then we have our crookneck squash. We picked a few of these today, but I'm gonna cut through and show you one of them. Now with our okra, before we cut into one of these, let's go ahead and count how many okra we harvested today. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six okra. Do you notice one is much bigger than the other ones? That's the one we're going to cut into today because this one has grown too long and it would likely be very mm, tough and maybe not have the best flavor. We let it grow too long. If we put these in order from small to big, let's see what it would look like. I think this one is the smallest, so I'm gonna put it first. Then I might compare these two. I can measure by putting them together and seeing which one is longer. It looks like this one is. So this one would be the next. There we go. Which one do you think is next? I think so too. This one here looks to be smaller than the next one. There we go. And now where should I put the largest one? Should I put it here? Should I put it in the middle? Or should I put it at the end? I think so. We'll put it right there. And now they're all standing in a row. I'm gonna set these five okra aside and I'll cut into this one. I'm gonna use a big sharp grown up knife and I'm gonna be very safe with my fingers. I've already washed all of these vegetables. So let's go ahead and chop into the okra. Notice the top is like a little hat. And there were some petals here. This is where the flower was. So I'm gonna cut off the top. And let's look inside. Whoop. What do you see? Does it look like little hearts? inside of a star? That is pretty cool. How many hearts do you see? One, two, three, four, five. And how many points on this star? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's check the other side. It looks the same. So when I want to cut the okra, 
you will start to see, I'll go this way, each piece, this is how we would cut it to eat it, each piece comes out as a little star. Look at that. And the parts that are filling up the hearts, do you see what that is? Let me bring it here. What's inside? It's a seed. Do you see those seeds? You can eat the seeds or you could pop them out and maybe try to dry them and regrow more okra from there. So here's what okra looks like. Typically you cook it in a pan with some oil, maybe salt and pepper, and you eat it and it is delicious. If you have a chance to try okra, you should. All right, okra, we're gonna move on to our crookneck squash. So again, the top here is where it was attached to the plant, to the branch that came out. So I'm gonna chop off the top and we'll look inside. Do we see a star in this one? No, what do we see? Yeah, I see two circles. I see the outside, kind of like a letter O or the number zero, like we talked about. And then I see the inner circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to chop. And we have our little pieces of squash. This neck went too long. So I'm gonna chop all the way down to here so we see what the squash looks like inside. Do you see the seeds in there? Yeah, and I'm starting to see some pieces coming out in the center. So let's chop a little more. And now you can really see there's kind of three sections in the squash there. Pretty cool. Let's move on to a tomato. So here's one from our garden. And I'm gonna chop off the top and I'm gonna chop off the back. Sometimes those parts have pieces that were attached to the plant. They can be a little hard to eat. So here's our tomato. Does it look good to eat? I think so. If you were here, you could smell it, and it smells great. I'm gonna slice a piece. Ooh, this looks delicious. Would you take a bite? I think I will. Mmm, it's delicious, friends. We've grown some yummy tomatoes. I hope, hope you can find some tomatoes to enjoy at home. Shall we go ahead and open the neighbor's tomato? Let's see how those might look different. I'll chop off the bottom. I'll chop off the top. And then we'll do a slice. What do you think? Do they look the same? How do they look different? Move that. I'm noticing that ours have more of this white inside and some more white here. So maybe ours are not quite as ripe as the neighbors. I'll try this one too. Mmm, very different flavor. This one is incredibly sweet and delicious. I'll have to thank her for that yummy tomato. I have so much to eat now, friends, so I think it's lunchtime. I hope you had fun checking out the garden and seeing what we harvested. Which one of these do you think would be your favorite? Would it be the okra, the squash, or the tomatoes? I don't know, but you'll have to let me know next time we see each other. Until then, have a great day. Bye.